When you can't make it to City Hall or the school board meetings, local journalists from BrainerdDispatch.com will be there to report the facts and get your questions answered. Local news works for you. Stay up to date at BrainerdDispatch.com. Good afternoon, Brainerd Lakes area. It's Thursday, May 9th. I'm Dylan Howard with your Brainerd Dispatch Minute, the weekday podcast of the Brainerd Dispatch, named best daily newspaper in the state of Minnesota, catching you up on the news of the Brainerd Lakes area. Here are today's top local headlines. The Brainerd School Board rejected the final two candidates in the running to be the next superintendent. Board members conducted final interviews yesterday, but agreed not to hire either person. Instead, they will hire an interim superintendent for the 2024-25 school year and restart the search for a permanent replacement in the winter. Teresa Burke has the full story in today's e-edition and at BrainerdDispatch.com. The State Fire Marshal's Office continues its investigation into a home explosion where the bodies of a Princeton husband and wife were found Tuesday. The Mille Lacs County Sheriff's Office secured the scene overnight and turned over control to the state Wednesday morning. The explosion happened just before 4 a.m. Tuesday north of Princeton. Deputies located a large debris field from an explosion that was still on fire at the time. After the fire was extinguished, first responders located two victims deceased at the scene along with their dog. The victims were Roy Krieger Jr. and Catherine Krieger. Reporter Tim Spire has more on the incident in today's edition and online. From former Dispatch publisher Terry McCullough's column, this was Brainerd, exploring the Dispatch archives, here's today's tidbit of local history. 100 years ago today, in 1924, the Dispatch reported that news of great importance to Brainerd was received today, announcing that the locomotive department of the NP Railroad Shops will go on a a six-day-a-week schedule beginning next week. This means an extra day's work each week for the 725 men employed on the locomotive side. For a daily dose of This Was Brainerd, visit BrainerdDispatch.com or find McCullough's column in the newspaper or e-edition. Be sure to tune in later today for Dispatch Sports Wrap with Radden Hop. They'll have a rundown on local sports teams. Now here's today's Lakes Area Forecast, brought to you by Tanner Motors of Brainerd. Storm Tracker. Weather for the Brainerd area today, looking at plenty of sunshine and temperatures in the mid-60s this afternoon. Dropping down into the lower 40s for tonight, mostly clear skies. And then going into Friday, we'll cloud up a little bit more and have some chances of showers with breezy conditions and highs in the upper 60s, getting into the low 70s by Saturday. I'm Storm Tracker Meteorologist Robert Pointer. Thanks to Tanner Motors for their support, and thank you for listening to the Brainerd Dispatch Minute. For more news throughout the day and for information on becoming a subscriber, visit BrainerdDispatch.com. Have a great day and we'll catch you tomorrow.